sport. I always love the games. I, I, I thought William was thinking about doing swimming, and I was like, against Michael Phelps? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to work. No shot at that. Well, uh, we got a photo in yesterday morning, mm -hmm. uh, but I know you would like this photo. This, uh -oh. is, this is a great picture, a oh, great weather-related picture of Bronson the boxer. Look at him. Oh, my. What's he doing? Is he tracking storms, bones? What's going on? <laughs> Look, at he's got his own iPad, too. How cool is this dog? I just want to thank Jeanette Hernandez for sending oh. this picture in. You know, even dogs like to track storms. I thought they were colorblind, too. He's it. probably tracking down the best meat bone in town. Yeah, he's, he's looking for where it's at because yeah. he, can't, he can't see the color green. But, uh, Jeanette, thank you so much for sending in that picture. I got a, a couple of good chuckles out of that when I saw it this morning. I want to show you something very neat uh, that we've had going on so far this year. Obviously, we've had a lot of rain across the area. Kind of, I've uh, been doing some nerdy number crunching in the studio earlier today. Wanted to look at uh, comparing last year to this year. Now, just the first four and a half months or so of January 1st through today, May 12th, and I kind of even the playing field out because I know this year we had a leap day. Last year we didn't, so I added in today, which last year, May 12th of 2011, a very wet day. Look at the rainfall total. So far this year, we've hit 17 and two-thirds inches. Last year, about six and two-thirds inches, which is well below normal. In fact, it took us until almost the middle of December of 2011 to hit this 17.67 mark out of Camp Mabry. At ABIA, it's even different. Check this out. Last year we had 6.42 inches by this time. This year so far 20.45. And guess what? Last year we never even hit the 20.45 mark. In fact, if you add in the first month of this year, it took until the 25th of January plus all of last year to get to this mark. So we have been significantly wetter this year, which is helping that drought condition, also helping the lake levels. Travis getting back up to levels that was last seen last summer, and uh, Buchanan also continuing to rise, which is good news. Now, for the mothers out there, not going to have to worry about getting the dress wet tomorrow as far as rainfall goes, even though we got a lot of uh, darkish kind of looking clouds out there. No rain showing up this afternoon into this evening. We're at 76 right now. Have a light variable wind at about 6, and it will become light out of the north throughout the evening hours tonight. And that, again, will allow us to see a very comfortable night with temperatures falling into the low 60s. Most of the numbers right now are in the low to mid 70s out there. And we still have a lot of low cloud cover sticking around. That's on the backside of that system that moved out of our area yesterday. And I think most of that cloud cover will continue to kind of scoot off towards the north and east tonight. So there's that system right now. Our next system still off in the Four Corners region here. And this is going to be our next rainmaker as it kind of slides southward through the day tomorrow, increasing our rain chances, it looks like, late Monday into Tuesday. So tonight, we're going to continue with just scattered clouds across the area. You notice future clouds, rain not showing much tomorrow except for a few clouds. And then that rain begins to return to the area late Monday afternoon and then continuing into the day on Tuesday. So tonight, 62 expected for the overnight low. Very comfortable once again. Tomorrow will climb up to about 83 for the afternoon high with some scattered clouds. I do expect rain chances to increase a bit late Monday. We'll call 20% chance. Better chance of rain and thunderstorms on Tuesday with a high of 82. Once that system moves out, it's going to get warm and sunny. We'll see 86 on Wednesday, 87 Thursday, up to 88 on Friday, and 89 for the start of next weekend.